Happy Monday. We have Pippa and Barrett's F1 Sheepa Doodle puppies. And these babies are five weeks old now. We've got them out in the living room playing. And they're active and wrestling and playing with toys and having fun. Although we still have Blue, Blue Boy is over here asleep in the midst of chaos. And we had families that came to visit this weekend, a couple of them that are hoping to get puppies from this litter. And the puppies were very sweet, but they were sleepy the whole time. The families didn't get to see them playing very much at all. So I'm glad to have a video of watching the puppies be active. We're gonna look at the puppies closely a little bit, but we're gonna do individual videos this week and post those and new pictures of the pups. So we're gonna do a lot of just watching them play today. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have puppy picks on September 8th. Our vet, Dr. Bart Bain, he's gonna be coming out to check on the puppies, give them a physical exam and their first set of vaccinations. As soon as he is through, we're gonna let everyone in line know how the vet appointment went. And then the families in line will start choosing their puppies. So if you're interested in getting in line for one of these puppies, send us an email at okoyriverdoodles at gmail.com. We'll schedule a phone call and talk to you and answer questions about these babies. And then these puppies go home on, I think it's September 24th. So we've only got a few more weeks with them. Um, they're gonna be, most of them probably around 50 pounds. Mom is about 55 pounds and dad is about 35 pounds this is pippa's first litter but in barrett's previous litters with sheep dogs uh, the smallest puppy was about 40 and he had two that were 65 but most center in between 45 to 55 pounds they're such sweet puppies fluffy and cuddly. They'll all have wavy coats and we say they're low to non-shedding and when you brush the puppies once their adult coat comes in you're going to get hair in the brush and you may see some tumbleweeds around like the baseboards but when you pet them there's not just hair falling everywhere. <laughs> all right so we've got orange boy right here and this is red girl coming to see her and to get pets. Little navy boy playing with the turtle. Navy boy has two blue eyes. He's the smallest puppy in the litter. Oh. Today's the first day navy boy has had a collar on. The others had collars on, but navy was little and I didn't get a collar on him as soon as the others. Here we have blue girl. And yellow boy. Here's red girl. And we have blue boy sleeping right here. And tan boy. Tan boy and red boy are the biggest boys, biggest puppies in this litter. Here's Pink Girl. This is Yellow Boy again. I'm pretty sure. Yellow Boy and Orange Boy look a lot alike. Purple and Yellow Girls look a lot alike. And Green Boy. Green Boy looks like purple and yellow. So here we have Yellow Girl. She's wrestling with her red boy. Red boy has one blue eye and one dark eye. Here's purple girl. She's just ready to sleep. Yellow girl. Purple and yellow and green boy. I'll have that little panda face. Maybe 
maybe boy's asleep now. Is red boy? Still mean. Green boy? I know. Here, no, this is red. Girl, I think she has one blue eye. Her eyes are still in some light. It looks like one of them is blue, but sometimes it looks like they're both dark. Blue boy moved, but he just moved to a different place to sleep between two of the toys. We have orange and yellow boy right here together playing. This be good to, since they look so much alike, see them right together. One of the families visiting called them the twins. with these puppies a lot. They'll have their a big day up this week with the vet visit. A big day with taking their pictures and doing the individual videos. We've had baths and blow dries. So that's a busy day for them. They love to eat and we'll start feeding them with different methods using snuffle mats and uh, puzzle games to feed them. Sometimes feeding them in smaller groups or one-on-one. -on -one. And feeding time is just a great way to interact with the puppies and do different things because it's a, always a happy time because they're excited about food. <laughs> There's a red girl walking by. I'm starting to get tired then. Girl. The twins are still playing with the play cue. So these puppies are a lot of fun and big. We've got Kaylee and Penny's puppies now. Their movie Mondays will be posted. Their newborn pictures are all up. And so those are our younger sheep doodle litters. But we do have availability in those litters as well. So that those puppies, puppy picks will be about October 3rd, and then I think they go home October 15th for Kaylee's litter and October 22nd for Penny's litter. And then we had Bernie Doodles born for Honey and Kimber, so we have a lot of puppies to be able to be watched on the movie Mondays. <laughs> We're going to sleep. This orange boy, no yellow boy. So we don't know exactly which puppies will be fed, but what we have heard from some people's favorites, uh, we do think red boy is likely to be chosen, either pink or blue girl. We might be keeping Pink or Blue Girl to be a future hopeful mom. But we're also, we also really like several of the puppies that would be good candidates for moms in Kaylee's litter or Penny's litter. So we're not quite sure yet. We're going to have to make big decisions this week along with our puppy families. Uh, we've got a family who's expressed a lot of interest 
and red girl. So we do expect red girl and red boy not to be available. Had a, had a lot of interest between a couple of families in navy boy and blue boy too. But the rest we're not quite sure about. And we're not really sure about those others because sometimes during purple picks, families change their mind. Orange boy and red boy wrestling, but most of the puppies are settling down for naps. So. That'll be the end of Movie Monday for this week. Um, the individual videos and pictures will be posted later and then we'll be able to know which puppies are available probably Thursday evening or Friday. So we hope you have a wonderful week and check back in with these puppies next Monday to see how they've grown and changed and maybe even know what some of the puppies' names are.